Hello friends, today I will discuss about a patient whom I recently managed and it was a nose bleed which was the initial symptom of uh, hypertension that is high blood pressure. So this gentleman he was a 40 year old person otherwise totally healthy out of the blue uh, he developed uh, nose bleeding and it was massive nose bleeding it was not subsiding so he, he was immediately rushed to the nearest uh, emergency hospital and there uh, with some initial first aid he was referred to the tertiary care center and there the ENT doctors they uh, managed his uh, nose bleeding well uh, with the help of nasal packing and cautery and it took almost 50 to 20 minutes to control the bleeding so it was a massive bleeding so but then uh, subsequently when he was examined his blood pressure was very high it was 210 by 110 which is severe hypertension but he had no prior history of hypertension now the question comes uh, you know why he had hypertension so uh, when his uh, workup was done he was uh, investigated in, in great detail to look for secondary causes of hypertension so that includes looking at the renal or kidney related causes hormone issues uh, and then you know many other disorders but all the entire workup uh, was negative now when a, some when somebody has hypertension like this uh, where no cause is identified that is called as essential hypertension and unfortunately almost 90 to 95% of uh, cases of hypertension we do not find a cause so this comes under this category of essential hypertension now second is if you look at this uh, nose bleeding so nose bleeding is not you know not a common symptom of hypertension but uh, hypertension can uh, rarely or you know can in less number of cases it can present with with nose bleeding and in as per research studies almost 10 to 25 percent of patients who have hypertension can have the nose bleeding and that is because in uh, people with, with uh, chronic hypertension the uh, nose uh, blood vessels mucosa blood vessels they become fragile and they are more prone to bleeding but you should always remember that uh, this uh, nose bleeding is most often due to local uh, causes in the nose so always focus on that and ENT evaluation is very important now coming to the basic question of uh, this you know 40 year old person who was otherwise well uh, what could have led to the hypertension so mainly we have to look at the lifestyle so he was a person who was uh, you know uh, one of the senior uh, employees in an organization and uh, so he had a hectic uh, work schedule so basically working for almost 12 to 14 hours uh, per day and uh, because of that he was also under a lot of stress job related uh, stress and thirdly his he was sleep deprived so sleeping only for say five to six hours and sometimes not even that so sleep deprivation and fourthly he had very little time for exercising or also you know socializing or spending uh, time with uh, family so all these things were uh, something which is an also unhealthy diet so basically you know all these uh, factors can definitely increase the risk of hypertension so what my message uh, to people young professionals is that one is you know maintain a good work life balance so there is no point overworking because we know that overworking can result in uh, complications like hypertension heart attacks strokes uh, depression uh, second is uh, adequate sleep so 7 to 9 hours of uh, night sleep is a must and uh, thirdly exercise is mandatory so 150 minutes of uh, moderate to vigorous exercises per week or 300 minutes of mild physical activity is required for all and uh, definitely healthy diet is a must so avoid uh, having uh, more of uh, you know this uh, fried foods or ultra processed packaged foods or foods that contain excess salt because these things are these unhealthy diets are known to increase the risk of hypertension and if you are overweight or obese try to manage weight and lose weight stress management is also very important and most importantly have a ch uh, checkup because bp high bp doesn't have any symptoms in most people uh, this was an unusual case where bleeding, uh, nose bleeding happened but most often it is asymptomatic so unless you check your blood pressure you may not realize that you have high blood pressure and uh, if you have been found to have high blood pressure always you know keep checking the BP at home and because many times people take medications and uh, still BP is not under good control so no point taking medicines and then not keeping the BP normal if the BP is still high consult your physician so that the medication dose can be adjusted and you have to maintain the blood pressure to below 130 by 80. So these are some of the tips I hope you enjoyed and you also learnt uh, something and uh, have a good day.